Hello my friends, it is FPS Russia again and I thought I'd make a video here on the main channel to talk about my second channel that not everyone knows about. So over there I do more videos about the technical aspects of firearms, I show you how they work, uh, the differences between firearms, break them down, show you accessories, that sort of thing. And if every now and then we get a, a funny fail, something goes wrong while we film and I upload that over there. Well today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite handguns. By the way, if you're interested in the second channel, it's more FPS Russia, there's going to be links down below in the description, there's going to be an annotation up on the screen if you're watching on the PC. Just click that and it'll take you to the second channel. But these are some of my favorite handguns. Um, I've got the Glock 17, an HK45, an FN Tactical 45, and a absolutely classic 1911 display piece. And I'm going to show you the differences between them, the, uh, the advantages that some of them have over the others. We're going to talk a little bit about that. So let's get started. First of all, this is the Glock 17. Now, most people like the Glock 19, it fits their hands better, but as I've mentioned before, my hands are a little big. 17 fits me better. I will say this about the, the Glock. It's never going to fail you. 99.9% .9 of the time when you pull the trigger, it's going to go off. So you can see, if you were to get into some kind of a gunfight, that's a lot of shooting you can do. And like I said, the 17 round magazine, that's what comes standard with this Glock. You can get a 32 round magazine to go in there and you can shoot all day long. And if you're in a gunfight that requires more than that, you should have gotten your rifle by now. Next gun I'm going to show you, this is an HK45. This is a lot more pricey than a Glock. This one is very ergonomic. The, uh, the grip fits my hand very well. It's got some knurling there, so you're not going to lose your grip. 45 ACP power. But it only has 10 round capacity and that could bother some people. Some people like high capacity handguns and I'm one of them. I love the sights. It's an excellent gun. I'll say this about the finish. If you look in closely, this is an old gun. I've had this for three years and the finish is as good as new. It's been pulled in and out of holsters, stuffed in vehicles, has no issues that with that. HK puts an excellent finish on their guns. Next one I want to show you, and you're probably familiar with this if you played a few video games, this is the FN Tactical 45. Now it's got a lot of features that none of these other guns have. For one, it's completely ambidextrous. That means if you're left-handed or right-handed, you've got everything where you need it. From the safety being on both sides, the slide release being on both sides, the mag release being on both sides, it does it all, whether you're lefty or righty. I've stuck a Trijicon uh, sight on mine. I'm going to be honest, I do not like this sight. It's a little bit blurry, it was $650. I wouldn't recommend it. Another key feature is the threaded barrel. So if you want to throw a suppressor on here, you're ready to go. It also has the raised sights, the raised iron sights, so you can look over that suppressor. And once again, just like the HK, has a very good sight plane that seems to fit me very well. 15 round capacity, 45 ACP, plenty of power. So there you go, and once again, as I speed up shooting, I'm trying to show you the controllability with a heavy handgun like this. And uh, lots of people haven't grasped that. That's something you get from shooting a lot. A lot of people often say that I'm shooting uh, downloaded rounds or something like that. I just shoot a lot, I get a good grip on the weapon with both hands, get my stance just right, and you can control recoil from pretty much anything. So. Let me show you the pretty gun. Let's go to the Colt. This is my 1911. Now, this may not be the most practical piece to carry for self-defense. You've got seven round capacity, eight round if you get an extended magazine, and one in the chamber, obviously. But it's absolutely beautiful. Now, as I said, it may not be the best gun for self-defense, but worst case scenario, once they see your gun, they're going to just stop bothering you and ask you where you got the gun because it's absolutely beautiful. It's got gold inlay, it's got uh, Colonel Colt's uh, saying on the side, you know, God created, uh, God created man, Colonel Colt made them equal. On the other side, once again, inlay, got the pony on there, real ivory grips. It's an absolutely beautiful handgun. This is extremely accurate and most people don't think of a 1911 as a carry weapon, but like I said, I'm kind of tall and thin, so I can conceal this fairly well. I like carrying these. 
1911 is a classic, it's over a hundred year old design, and I'm a sucker for 1911s. Let's see how it shoots. That's an absolutely sweet shooting gun, I got to tell you. It just feels so much different because this is an all steel frame than all those polymer guns. I, I know that the future of guns is going toward polymer, I've got nothing against it, but there's something about holding a classic weapon like this, the weight of it, the feel of it, you feel like you've got a piece of history in your hands. So. These are the type of videos that I do on the second channel. If you like these type of videos where we talk a little bit more about the guns, what the guns do, their features, then subscribe to the second channel. Like I said, there's links everywhere. Click it, come over and check out the videos. Hope you guys enjoyed and as always, have a nice day.